What's up everyone? Back in the shed again. Live in this place just about. Good progress. I haven't filmed it. What a surprise. Uh, we just got stuck in and uh, we were just getting things done. So here's the update. Battery in, mounted solidly. Winch replaced all the wires with 70 mil square. Nice thick short runs off a big grunty battery right there. Winch should go good. Um, Oh, been mucking around at the back here, tidying up wiring and stuff, sorting out. We'll put on an air tank so that we can uh, run an air free spool for the winch, obviously, and then for our twin air shocks that we got there. Really, the more I stare at these tyres, the more they grow on me. I actually think they're going to work really, really well, especially being on a light vehicle with power. Now, if we look over here, let's go over here so it's easier. So, the lugs are nice and deep and they've actually got a relative amount of spacing compared to the traditional. So, I really think they're going to work. And being that they're non-directional, it's going to bite this way, but it's also going to bite over here. In reverse so I think they're gonna be a really really good tire uh, Andrew's been here today helping so we've got all our switches and stuff we added to that um, got our ghetto snorkel that we're gonna do later on and uh, yeah progress is a good thing we're getting there um, almost ready I've just got to put because it's LPG I need an LPG heater so I'm probably gonna cut this through here and put it in here with a joiner or something um, which then runs up to here and runs through that to keep the LPG from freezing over we'll get all that sorted and then we can put our race coolant in it because we're super cool we got race coolant they reckon it runs cooler We'll see. Should flow good. Nice big radiator. Good fan. Uh, brand new water pump, etc. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, if all goes to plan, we should be ready for a test run tomorrow. And um, just got to hook up our air free spool that we've got down here. Uh, so we've got the Nova winch from Force 4. Then we've got the free spool also from Force 4. Yes. Oh, I need to put some lights on the front. Not that that's really going to matter, because the first hole we go into, it's just going to be gone anyway. But progress is good. We're really, really starting to chew through things, which is much needed, because we leave in six days. So yeah, good times. And I still have to prep the GMC and go over the car trailer. That is part of prep. Make sure that you can actually get to the destination. So let me get back into it, and I'll update you. When I have an update. Right, so just a quick tip. If you didn't know, which I'm sure most people do, but some people don't, and that's cool. Red lights don't hurt your vision at night. So I'm going to stick this on the roof, a little BJ, just so we can see uh, the gauges and stuff. Don't have lights in them. Very handy, I know. Um, so yeah, just making it quick and easy little mount stick this from the roll bars uh, so this is just going to go across the roll bars and I've just quickly made this so the switch will go in here uh, and I've just folded it around so at night you don't cut your fingers or anything nice and smooth and so yeah I'll just quickly weld that on light will go underneath drill some holes and uh, bingo ready to rock and roll
<laughs> uh, yeah, clean that up a bit. So yeah, that's probably uh, some of the worst TIG welding I've done in a long time. And it's probably because I didn't clean the material properly. Um, yeah, she's a mess. That's right. Penetrated. That's only for a light switch. Perfect time to practice on things that don't matter. Even if it is really ugly. Let's go. Cool. Right, next stage. Install it. Installed. Easy as, welded on there. And what I've done is cranked it this way, just to aim it a bit further forward. So if I turn this off, go into complete darkness, much better. Doesn't hurt your eyes and still gives you enough light for your harnesses and uh, the gauges. It's a little bit bright out of the corner of my eye though, just up here. So I might just put a little bit of tape over my side. But yeah, quick, dirty, easy. We like that. Although white is much nicer, but it's not good for driving at night, so. Good, things are happening, We're getting there. So on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. What a day, what a day. So, had Andrew here all day. He brought his brother-in-law, Alan, and uh, just been smashing it out. Got all the wiring done. Uh, put it all into place. Winch is wired, everything's wired, all, everything sorted. And then we put it back together and it nearly caught on fire. So basically what happened was, which we didn't find until later on, um, when we put one of the covers back on in here it nicked a couple of the wires and so we were standing here wondering why there was smoke coming out and uh, yeah, so good times so back to the drawing board on that uh, which is alright gave us a chance to double check some things and we're going to change a couple of things while we're at it um, put some bigger thicker wires in for the air compressor etc and then run some wiring so we can throw these headlights in and um because they'll probably give out a bit more light than those will but yeah it's, uh, it's coming along modified the water hose so that we can run uh hot water circulating for the lpg setup um i was making over on that bench still my fear lead setup now we're going to run dual fear leads so i'm going to have one fear lead on here um because if you look through here it's slightly higher so we'll run an inner fear lead and then weld a piece on here and have an outer fear lead here so it feeds on nicely and yeah put these on so we can hook our rope on put it on all nice wiring came up all good and uh yeah progress progress is a good thing a few hiccups but that's to be expected and um should have it all running. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure out. Oh, that is off. Sorry, just double checking while I'm talking, you know. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna have to put all this back together once we've rewired it, and we're getting there. We leave on Friday morning, all going to plan, and it's now Sunday night. So this is how we roll every time and this is normally how it rolls for everyone else in a winch challenge too so uh yeah unless you're like superman 
you'll be prepping right to the end. And if it's not the truck, it'll be the trailer or the tow rig or your lunch or your dinner or your liquid refreshments. You can't forget those when you're going wheeling or well, when you go into a comp because then you can finish the night and sit around the fire. And that's when all the stories come out of I almost, I could have, I nearly. And that's when all the world champions are made around a campfire. So, that's enough for me for the day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully we get everything sorted and go for a quick test run somewhere, some way, somehow.